Before we begin, I use a miter saw in this job. A hacksaw probably would do the job too, but I have a miter saw, super dangerous. I'm not recommending you do these things yourself at home. I'm just showing you what I do in my job. It's totally for educational purposes. I wouldn't want anybody to get, get, get hurt. Hire a professional to do these things for you. Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please uh, subscribe to my channel, tap the notification bell and like this video. That helps me to keep making videos and I would appreciate it majorly. This is, uh, this is going to be a first for this channel. I believe I'm gonna start this on my sort of backup channel or maybe it's my main channel. I'm not even sure, I get confused. But the one that has got less subscribers, I think I'm gonna start putting my sort of home improvement, do-it-yourself, renovation type um, how-to videos on that channel. So, and this is probably gonna be the first of this. Anyways, what we're going to do today is, uh, is repair a screen and, um, and also try to build a screen as well. I'm gonna go to, go to the store. I have some supplies already, but let me go to the store and get the rest of what I need and uh, we'll go from there. But first, let me just kind of, um, um, we're gonna redo this screen, you know, which I was surprised that with the, right, with the right tools, it came out, it was fairly easy and it came out perfect, you know? It's something that's always bothered me, little holes in screens, screens that are like, have a slight rip in a corner or something, or that are extremely baggy, whatever. You know, I was surprised that when I did this before, how good it came out, if you have the right tool. So we're gonna do that, and then I'm also going to try, this is gonna be new, to build a screen from scratch. I'm gonna probably use the kit that they provide, but, um, and hopefully that goes well for, for, this, for this sort of double window, this unique window here. You know, it's like an old, old star that winds open and, and pushes out, you know? Like so, actually in their backwards. Okay, and uh, you know, uh, the screen goes in here, the, the previous home. I've got, I'm getting my materials or some of them now. The, um, this is just the basic screen. It's um, clear advantage, net advantage. It's, it's just the basic, you know, there's, there's an extra strength, but I don't want that because I want to be able to make it nice and tight. I've done this one, once before with this and it came out really, really good. So, um, you know, I'm gonna be both repairing a screen and trying to build one. You know, you can try to build your own. They, they give you the pieces, the 5 16ths by 84 inch, which is seven feet. For some reason, they're in seven foot increments. This is by 84 inches too. Normally things are in eight feet, but this is in seven feet. But to do that, you need to build, uh, you, know, you know, you need to select your own spline, which is what that, you know, that black thing is there, you know. And uh, I don't know what size is required for a standard. I've been here before and sort of done this. Um, the splines come in 0 0.125, 0 0.140, 0 0.160, 175, I think 0.160, but um, I'm just not even gonna bother because they, they do have kits that give you the spline already in it, that give you the corners along with it with some of the hardware, the hardware, the clip that like allows the screen to kind of squeeze into place. And, and uh, so I'm gonna just use the kit, you know, rather than buy, buy both the corners, a packet with the hardware, you know, the, the clips to allow you to pull the screen out and stuff like that, as well as, you know, the spline. I like the spline to go all the way around, um, unlike the, the kit provides, because you, you already have, you have to cut your, sec you cut your sections with the spline already in it. So, but I think it's still better to go that way. This is, uh, this is critical. You know, you can do it with a screwdriver, but it's very difficult, you know, without it. I had something similar to this sitting in our shed for like the last eight years, which I had no idea what, what it was until I came looking, investigating, um, you know, repairing a screen. And I saw in the picture there, that little, um, that hand with the tool there. And uh, I immediately realized what the tool that had been sitting in our shed for about eight years. Um, and I went home and got it and used it and it worked like a charm. I was, I was shocked how well things turned out. So, um, but that's all I need for now. Everything else I still have, I already have at home. And uh, so I'm gonna go do it. 
I have all my materials and tools to do the screen repair and actually attempt to, uh, and I didn't show you the kit that I bought to build a screen. I have three of these. I'm gonna try to build three screens. We'll see how that goes, you know. I mean, it comes with, I haven't even opened it, the four corners, these little clips that basically help you to um, put it, guide it into the groove where the screen kind of uh, holds itself in place. And, uh, and also a couple of clips to help you pull the screen in and out. And uh, I'm gonna go, you kinda wanna be careful, you gotta put a fair amount of force to push it down into the slot, you know, and it should be snug, but at the same time, if you, if you go off course, you know, you can end up ripping the same screen that you're trying to, you know, which is what you're, the purpose of what you're doing in the first place is trying to put a brand new screen in. Now, for some reason, when I did this the last time too, it seems like there's a little slack in it and I have to, you kind of have to turn it yourself. It doesn't line up perfectly with the old turn. It's a stretchy piece of material. It's rubber, basically, or some kind of like, you know, industrial rubber that holds up to weather pretty well. Now, I won't worry too much about it being tight until I get to like, you know, the last two sides. And like I said before, it kinda, it kinda does it for you in terms of if you just uh, kinda play it cool and uh, do a, stay on top of it, it stays tight for you, you know, for the most part. And I'm not looking for perfection. I am not a, you know, contractor. A lot of these things I just, uh, I don't do very well. I'm, I'm getting better and um, at actually being able to fix things myself. I ended up getting the extra strength. The, um, it did rip on me a couple times. I mean, basically when you're, you know, when you're, when you're running this thing along there, you know, it's very easy to run off course or even just apply too much pressure and slice into the screen and kind of, Cut a slice into, uh, you know, put a hole into the screen that you're trying to replace a screen with a hole in it. So um, you have to be a little careful, but after doing it twice, I kind of figured I needed this extra strength. I was just worried it was going to end up being, because it has um, just a little bit more thickness to it, it would end up being a little bit sloppy and baggy, but it didn't. It came out nice and tight. I think this frame screen, um, because the groove is a little deep, maybe uh, is what caused me to, to, to mess up twice. I didn't have that problem with uh, previously with other screens, but anyways. So now I'm gonna take a blade, and now it's, it's on there pretty good, you know? I mean, it's nice and tight, it feels wonderful. And just to slightly go around the perimeter on the outside of the spline, you know, I put a brand new blade in there, or flipped it around so that it's nice and sharp, and you don't have to barely apply any pressure, you know, just run, some pressure, but run it along there. And, uh, and cut it. This is the uh, extra strength, so I might need a little bit more than... Like so, and just go all the way around. And then I'll finish that up. And then it'll be done in a sec. And then I'll try to build one. Complete, you know, I mean, and now that's, that's done. So that's one thing handled, and I'll just slide that back into the basement window. I'm gonna use that actually as my gauge to make create a new one. And uh, cause I need one, one's missing for the basement window with this. And then go to the double windows uh, and try to make one for them. So let me, here's all the elements of the, uh, the kit to build, uh, to build a screen. Mine's uh, 36, um, you know, 36 inches long, there's four strips. So uh, that's plenty to make a size for this or for the window in the kitchen. It's got the four corners and it's got these, um, I don't even know what those are called. They are called tension springs here, okay? Um, that just basically clip onto the corner inside the screen on the end here. I'll open that in a second and illustrate uh, if, if need be. But, and, and then handles to kind of be able to pull the screen in and out of the, the channel or the, you know, the area where it uh, is locked into place. 
So, the uh, the length measures 17 and an eighth approximately, you know, and uh, this is uh, this is a three quarters inch from this 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 edge to this edge. You know, the rest of it's going to be inside. I don't even know what this is called. This is the screen frame, and um, so seven, those two of those three quarters inch, which is an inch and a half, two of them. So 17 and an eighth minus an inch and a half, which I need a piece 15 and 5 eighths. I'm going to go ahead and cut, uh, cut, cut this. First, I'm gonna try it and see how it cuts through this. You know, obviously don't try any of this stuff at home. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. And uh, I already measured it out. I marked it. And yeah, let's go see how it looks. The other dimension is uh, good. Now I just have to cut two more pieces equal in length. And actually I was able to get both these cuts out of one 36 inch. So I'll have two left over, you know, um, for another screen somewhere else or just extra material. So uh, let me do that and then I can start putting in the screen and putting the hardware in. These things, you literally just kind of put it inside of here. You know, that clip part, you put it, uh, slide it right in there and then put your corner right over top of it. You know, I'm not gonna do it just yet, but that's, that's how it goes right in there. Actually, I will do it. Now it's snug now because I don't wanna go all the way just yet because until I'm ready to do it. It'll be tight after that. When it's when this this hardware is not in there, and some that's only for two corners, just like here. Even though these ones are different, they're kind of there's holes there and they're they're pinched in there, and they got little clips that they hang on to inside there. There's probably like some kind of like T head to it, whatever. Uh, but there's only two of these on on one side. Uh, so let me uh, let me uh, let me get to it. I'm almost done. I have all my pieces cut and they're cut good perfectly. I'm just assembling it now. You clip uh, the, uh, I guess they call that a tension spring, something like that. These teeth have to line up with that groove there. And it's a little tight now with the tension spring in there, but that's it. You want them to be on the side that, uh, these guys are on the long side of my, of my rectangle. And I'll keep going and do that all. I can tell that this is going to be, I mean, this is a much bulkier screen. It's very heavy duty. And, um, you know, so this is gonna have a fair amount of wiggle room. I've already taken my spline out of it so that I don't have to dig it out of there after I assemble it all together. And then I'll start putting the screen and I will go ahead and use this hardware. So, you know, it's available to me. Let me, let me go ahead and put that all together and show you what it looks like at the end. And then put the screen in. I cut my screen, I'm using the extra strength and I'm gonna go ahead and try to, uh, you know, uh, put, it, put it together now. I mean, put the screen in without ripping it. I don't have a lot of play on my other side. I have my hardware in there. Hmm. Ah. I wonder, you know what? I think that's, no, that's right. It's gotta go in there underneath the spline. Oh wait, like this probably. Hmm.
Same as before, now I'm just going to cut the excess away with a blade, you know, gently apply a little pressure on the outside of the uh, spline. I definitely like the extra strength screen. I mean, it's nice and tight, and um, I wish I had bought that in the first place. That's, uh, that's complete, that's one that's done. You know, it's not gonna hold up that well, uh, you know, outside on a basement window that probably is gonna get pounded with, with wind and rain. But it's, you know, it's done, it'll do, it's better than nothing. And I would say that that, that, that worked out pretty good, the kit, you know. Um, they're both, uh, they're both in there. This is the one I rebuilt, or built. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's satisfactory for sure. That, that'll do. And uh, the one that uh, I repaired or rebuilt is in here as well. Not sure it moves better. You would think that it would actually be tighter, but the other one, um, but, it's, but this one's for this window. And that's good too. It's good enough, man, that's for sure. Now I'm going to try the kitchen. We'll see how that goes. I've cut my uh, pieces, you know, to the proper lengths and so forth, deducting um, an inch and a half for the two corners for each the uh, length and width. And, uh, and it fits in there pretty good. I'm, what I'm going to do, I think, is just use one tension spring uh, because I can't use two, at least for these dimensions. And I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it fits in there. Now it's nice and snug. It doesn't, it's not locked into anything, but it's snug, you know. And um, I think I could live with that. It's quite snug, actually. And when the, when the screen's in, I think it'll be good. Now I'll use my same lengths to just measure up new ones so that I have double for both and uh, put the screen together and be done. I don't think I'm going to try to get fancy with some kind of clip or put a screw there or anything. I think it's good. Good enough. Screens all put together and... Um, you know, I did use uh, both tension springs actually. Uh, hardware's all in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put one portion of the spline on, hopefully successfully, on the camera. Putting it in now, one of them. And it just kind of fits in there snug. So it's not on any track, but if I have to, I can pull it out like that pretty much. That's actually pretty good. I want to put some silicone on a spot in there. So that's that's pretty good, man. I could definitely live with that. Both uh, both screens are now finished, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just slide them in. You know, they just, all things considering, I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with it. And it's in there pretty snug. It really is. And whoever comes to take that out, we'll have handles to grab it with there. And ah. 
Nice turkey. Both, uh, both screens are now fully built and I can just go ahead and slide them in. You know, I mean, all things considering, it came out pretty decent and it fits in there pretty snug. Gotta be careful not to, but it comes out pretty nice too, you know? So, it's in there good, you know? It really is. in there pretty good too man all things considering I consider that a success definitely another problem solved screens built at least a pretty simple one it doesn't have like the one those huge screens where you have a section across the middle with one of these uh, frame pieces in the middle but Free, uh, screen built, screen repaired, problem solved. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I will see you in the next video. Later, man.